I'm Sir Tap Tap, and my beloved four-day weekend is unfortunately finally over. Borderlands 3 came out, I've been playing that pretty much the whole weekend. Um, I had some good old staying up past 3 a.m. nights. I, I kind of miss doing that with the new game and stuff. Um, <laughs> with Borderlands 3, the, the only thing I don't like about Borderlands 3, I mean, this is the minor issues here and there, but... Mostly the weird little performance bug. But most of that will probably get patched. Um, with the whole EGS thing, a bunch of people... Um, some people I know that got that I played Borderlands 2 with all the time didn't get it yet. A um, couple people in the Discord got it on console, and there's no, you know, crossplay. Really hoping that's like a defining feature of next gen. It's just crossplay is more common than not, but uh, I don't know. Um, and, and some people, um, some people I know did get it, but um, I ended up playing it solo for my first playthrough. I just didn't. I wanted to kind of take my time. Uh, I couldn't find a. F um, when I played Borderlands 2, I had a four-player group ready to go from the very start, and so we just played, and I played that pretty much all as a group. Um, there was a whole bunch of us. That, that was easier to organize. This time I just figured, you know what? I can't fi find a full team that'll be ready, like, literally at launch is when I'll want to play it. I'll just start. People will be playing it for a long time. It's, you know, it's got a ton of crap to do. Um, there'll be content updates and stuff people will be doing. So, um, I'll keep the co-op to, a to a true Vol Hunter mode, and I'll probably make a second character at some point here. Uh, probably pretty soon. Um, you can add me on Epic Game Store. My name is Sir Tap Tap with no spaces. Um, <laughs> figuring out the whole Epic Game Store thing. I don't mind using a new store, it's just been, I have not actually used Epic Game Store for anything multiplayer. And I hadn't really been planning for the release, so I got kind of caught by surprise. But uh, yeah, Borderlands 3 has been fantastic. I've, um, like I said, some couple issues, mostly the performance. There's, um, I mean, you play a multi-platform a multi -platform game on PC right at launch. <laughs> There's always going to be issues. I've never, I've never been in that situation and not had some manner of problems. Um, not too much issues with Borderlands 2 itself, I guess. But, um, I probably just don't remember. I probably just don't remember. I think I was playing that on, like, a crap box, like, settings and everything. <laughs> I remember that Fizz X didn't work for me because I had a Radon card. Anyway, great game. Um, if you want to, like I said, ah, excuse me. Um, uh, if you want to add me on Epic Game Store, it's just Sir Tap Tap. I had to figure out how to change that. Um, I had a space in it, and people were, like, trying to add me without the space, and, like, or with with the space between the taps, and, nah, just, just all one word makes it so much simpler. Um, this game here, Mr. John Q. Abyssrium, um, I've actually gotten pretty far. I, this is the furthest I've ever gotten in an event since, uh, last October, actually. I just need to get the space, I need to get the space whale, and I need to get the space prince. So I'm basically going to set up a macro on my PC to try to do that. Watch the crab ads, basically. I think I made an, a macro for that. I have one called Abyss Ad Loop. I don't remember exactly what it does. But I think it does something like that. Um, I really like this event. Flero Games, I am cautiously optimistic. Very cautiously. But I think they can't do worse at this point. At least in the sh in the near term, it, it doesn't feel like they can do worse than Cheetah Mobile. So I think there is at least some short term goodness to be had here, and so I'll be excited to see that. Um, I, I do feel like a midstream traffic and stuff for gu guides and stuff in general has declined, and I feel like the game kind of needs a kick in the butt. And hopefully the new devs or the new publisher rather um, will be that you know requisite kick in the pants to uh, to do stuff. Um, still not amazingly enticing gameplay. I still miss the old unlocks where everything was like hidden and you had to do a bunch of weird stuff. The, the My f absolute favorite period in Abyssrium, um, for the first few months after launch, like every two weeks they would add four new fish and all of them would be hidden and there was no like, you know, it wasn't like, oh, you need to buy a new coral, oh, you need level 18 billion. It was always just a hidden unlock and you had to figure it out. And so we had a lot of fun figuring those out and sharing those, and that that's what really brought me together with the Abyssrium community 
to begin with. And I always thought that was a really cool feature. I had I had never expected that to even be a thing in this game. When I first saw it, I just thought it'd be like a basic, you know, idle clicker kind of thing. But yeah, I might actually complete this event. I'm doing pretty good. Um, Azure Lane stuff, there's an Italian Navy thing. I'm not super into it. Um, I want to get Formidable. She's the only major ship. Um, I'm missing the Elite, and I'm one, I forget her name, and I'm missing Formidable. I don't think I'll use probably any of the Italian ships. Yeah, here's Zuz Zulu? Zuzu? What's her name? I have the- Zara. I, I was close. I had one-fourth of the name right. Um, yeah, maybe stream- I- <laughs> I kinda already played this event. Um, but I could stream some grinding of that on Twitch or something. I didn't want to stream at all this weekend because I've just been- I've had Borderlands 3 up the entire time. <laughs> I've had it open on my PC this whole time, and I've just been playing it. EGS probably thinks I played it for, well, what, <laughs> I guess, uh, four whole days almost consecutively. I might put my PC to sleep when I go to sleep, but, uh, yeah, I bet it thinks I played, like, 40 hours. <laughs> Which, not entirely far from the case, but a lot of that is, like, paused on the menu and, like, me dicking around. I have gotten to almost the end, though, I think. Um, it's gotta be- it's ramping up! I don't want to be too spoiler y so I won't get into too much things. I was gonna show the game, but I, you know... It, there, there'd be probably be spoilers and stuff. Hello! Yes! Um, what else? Oh, 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 oh! Frick, I gotta remember to put the stream schedule at the beginning of this stupid video. Uh, if I, I'll go back and edit that in. Stealthy, stealthy like, you won't even notice. You won't even notice, but um, yes. We're gonna be streaming, um, you'll be hearing this for the second time, but we'll be streaming um, cursed content this Saturday and Sunday. We'll be streaming um, Detroit Become Human. I know some people think it's a great game, and I don't wanna... <laughs> The, the cursed content thing is kind of so bad it's good, that doesn't necessarily mean... Like, David Cage games are a really interesting case, and I think they're perfect for cursed content, because... When they're good, they're good. Um, when they're bad, they're good, just in a different way. It's, it's like, um... It's like a Tommy Wiseau film that actually... Has some degree of merit, sometimes. Like, the room was just complete crap. The I played Beyond Two Souls. Um, I'm not a big fan um, of David Cage, um, but I don't even know if I can say that, because when I played Heavy Rain, that was, like, some of the most fun I've ever had streaming. Um, there was so much stuff that was, like, legitimately great, and then there's things that happened that just totally <laughs> ruined it. Um, but it's still, at the very worst, it's hilarious, so I, I can't even really complain. Um, but yeah, Detroit Become Human will be our next, um, thing for that. We'll be streaming it at Saturday night, um, and Sunday, probably. Um, and Sunday we'll also be finishing up Borderlands 1 as our group, as long as enough people can come. But we have just, like, two or three hours of that game left, Tops. We were literally two story missions away from the boss, um, when we left off last time. Kind of a shame we had to end there. But it would have been at least an hour or so, so, I mean, I can't blame anybody for tapping out. Um co-op stuff is always kind of like that. Um, so Detroit Become Human, I don't know exactly what hours we'll be talking. I'm thinking maybe 3 p.m. Uh, if you go to my Twitch page, um, if you go to my Twitch page, I'll make an event pretty soon. Um, and if you just subscribe, um, something we found on Discord is that if you, if you don't get notifications on Twitch, if you don't get emails when people go live, uh, what you can do is go into your settings um, there's a thing called smart notifications, turn that off, and you'll always get email notifications. Um, because what Twitch tries to do if smart notifications are on, it'll try to send them to your phone, it'll try to send them to, um, if you have like a Twitch tab open in your browser, it'll send it to that instead of your email. And usually people want the emails if they're really, you know, want to be sure. And you can also toggle per streamer who you actually want to get the email notifications from. Like if somebody streams like 16 times a day and you don't want their, you know, streams and somebody else streams like once a month and you do really want notifications, um, you can pick all that. <laughs> Much better than YouTube's stupid system. Click the bell and maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Fun. Anyway, um, yeah, guess that's it for the week. I, 
I need to, like, sleep in an hour or two, which is weird. It's only 9.34, but I should be, you know, preparing for bed and for work tomorrow. This, that's gonna be rough. Hi, Parker. Hi, Parker, yes. Ugh. But it's been fun to just, you know, wake up at unreasonable- Stay up at unreasonable hours playing video games. Wake up at unreasonable hours. Roll out of bed. You know, pet Parker. Shower. Return to playing video games. Ugh. Probably- that's probably the one- the one annoyance of my job. We don't get a ton of vacation. Uh, I currently have 10 days a year. Um, we have pretty decent days off, like holidays off, um, otherwise, but yeah. It's kind of dumb because we're, we're in an office, we're office workers. I think we had, we share the exact same amount of vacation days as ah, people at the, out of the remote plants. And it is, it is a butt and a half to try to, you know, get fill-ins for that. So I think that's kind of why that happened, but whatever. I can't complain otherwise. I mean, I got a 10% race um, this year and last year, so I've been um, I'm in good shape. It's not the most exciting job ever, but hey, pays the bills quite easily, and it's you know, I'll take I'll take security and you know, a little bit of uh, a little bit of money and mostly just the security and comfort. I'll take that over a little bit of extra vacation. Ensures I can get more vacation later, like being able to actually retire on like... <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, isn't that fun? <sighs> anyway, financial talk is lame. Um, that's pretty much it for the week. Oh, hello, Mr. Mouse. I guess you're being recorded too, aren't you? You just wanted to say hi. Hi, Miss Parker wants to say hi too. Do not kiss the mic, please. Uh, get off, get off the keyboard. You'll stop the recording. I don't want that. I mean, I do want to stop the recording, but <laughs> I really need to try to make these shorter. But there was a lot to talk about this time, at least, I guess. So, that's been kind of my week. That's what we're going to be publishing over this week. I got a bunch of the live streams that I need to publish here, too. Um, so, maybe see you in Borderlands 3. Hope to see you streaming um, Detroit Become Human Saturday and Sunday. That'll be, that'll be a lot of fun, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it's exactly like... Um, who's he wants it? <laughs> the funny thing about Detroit Become Human is such a love-hate thing, which I guess all of David Cage's stuff is. Um, and I'm kind of in both camps, really. I, I guess I can totally understand. A lot of people think it's fantastic. Um, and a lot of people think it's trash. And I'll probably in, be in both camps when we're streaming, because that's... That's where I was in Heavy Rain. Beyond Two Souls was like... This was almost really good, and then there would be one scene that just like trashes it, and I'm like, oh man, this. Oh. And then this thing, I think Indigo Prophecy, that just goes totally off the rails. That could be a fun stream, but I think I need to find a censored version of that one. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's much worse than Heavy Rain was though. There was, there was Dong and Butox in that. You just can't show it for too long, or I don't know. Anyway. Good night, everybody. Hope to see you on Twitch.